septic system. So we are building a septic system for two houses um, over in Roatan, Honduras. And this is our second time building a septic. We, well, we're doing it a completely different way than the first time. If you are building in Roatan, Honduras, you will probably need your own septic system. There are many directions that you can go. I'd say some are better than others. Last time we did not build it right. It was concrete, but it was a single compartment. This time, well, it's gonna be like night and day. And so I wanted to show you what we've done after learning what not to do. And we are gonna be building, it's gonna be a concrete uh, septic that has three different chambers. And the leach field is also going to be properly done with the right amount of, um, well, dirt, sand, rock, all of the things that we need. But then the septic system is also gonna be in three compartments, which is gonna make our lives a lot better with maintenance, but it's just gonna make everything all around because it's right next to our house. And you don't, want, well, if we are technically downwind from it. We're not downhill, which, well, you should see some of the things I've seen. Come check it out. Welcome to us building a septic system. So this is the second time I built a septic unit in Roatan, Honduras. I've seen a lot of septic systems. I've also seen a lot of septic systems leak and break and sometimes move uh, and slosh around in other people's basements. So if you want to know more about those lovely stories, uh, find me at Sundowners. Uh, but let's go talk about why we chose to do the septic system like we did right here. I'm just kind of showing you almost a time lapse of its construction. It took about two months. Now that wasn't because they were working on it full time. It's just, that's just the time we used for building the house. So what we just saw was the leach field, which we have lots of different la layers of gravel, sand, all of the, everything you want in one of those homemade filter systems that you can kind of sometimes Hello. see on YouTube with a, with a tube. I'm not showing you all those details, but that's how we started with the leach field. And this is actually the concrete septic. I do not recall how many gallons it is, but it is meant for two homes, three bedrooms, seven toilets. Uh, there we go. And a very, well, a large personal pool. So that's, that is the size. I, I believe it's around 8,000 gallons, but I'm not, don't quote me on that. This is going to be a three chamber. We did a three chamber because of the size of the septic. Most septic systems don't need to be that large, but it is because it's two large houses and a pool. Uh, we just decided to do, I'd rather build it too big than not big enough and have to pump it and deal with, well, the sludge and things that I had to build with, deal with with the first house where we built a large septic, but it was a single chamber. This is going to be three chambers. And I wanted to show you now where you can see it looks like it's two chambers, but the third chamber is actually going to be, well, for the sediment that goes to the bottom. And it's gonna separate that third layer that, go, that floats uh, and it, the separation is gonna be off from the top of the septic unit, if that makes sense. So part of it's partitioned on the bottom, part of it's partitioned on the top, but this is just kind of how we built it. We did use the cinder blocks. We did hand mix this concrete. I've talked a lot about not hand mixing things and using going with island concrete for the house. And when we poured the 22,000 gallon cistern, with this, just because it is quite a bit smaller, it is completely in the ground. We, and well, we didn't need uh, the amount needed for a full truck and it didn't make sense. Now, maybe if we poured this at the exact same time we poured our, our, our carport, maybe that would have worked out, but from a timing standpoint, we built them about three months uh, separately. So we ended up just hand mixing it. And right there, you can tell that they are now pouring. Uh, but anyway, so we weren't as concerned with the grit and the density of the concrete. Now we still used a the proper grit, and but we didn't have to pour it like we did with the 22,000 gallon cistern, which was just a much bigger, well, a bigger ordeal. And it was actually two chambers. This is three and the hand mixing just worked. So there is a time and a place for most things. This just seemed to work for this, well, this project. So now going back to the leach field, we put different layers of gravel, sand, dirt in the leach field. And we kind of, we kept it and we built it slowly. So it took several weeks and we put different layers, just let it settle, make sure there wasn't any air pockets because we want that water. This is kind of the last step of the middle layer of your septic system 
and it's gonna go into our yard. That's where my kids are gonna play. I don't wanna deal with the odor. I, well, I've had to deal with odors before and it's just not super fun. Um, and one of the reasons why we went with the three chamber, spent a little bit of extra money, which you can kind of start seeing from the, the viewpoint, you can see how it is. We kind of had it divided, uh, but it was when I, we were doing the laundry in Roatan and we tried to use as many eco-friendly materials as we can but that doesn't mean everything we're washing is gonna be super eco-friendly. There are still phosphates in a lot of the soaps that are on the island. Uh, we use the eco-friendly stuff that doesn't really clean anything, but that's a whole nother topic. Uh, but when we would run laundry or when we do several loads of laundry, our septic couldn't, uh, the, the environment in inside the septic would just go haywire. So once every week or once every two weeks, we used to hold the laundry and do it all over one time maybe four to five loads and it was well part of the issue was heavy bleach usage and it just it destroyed the environment thank you so much for watching our construction of our second septic system if you ever have any questions my door is always open you're more than welcome to check out the property or feel free to ask me questions in the comments